What's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. This is Fusion of Fat Care back with another video. And today we have the newly game just dropped Cities Skylines the Xbox One edition. Now, first off, I want to tell you guys that I have the XCD Skylines on the PC. And so I know I kind of have an idea what to do. And I play this game, the Xbox One edition for a little bit uh earlier and just to get familiar with the controls and it is very strange it is very very different uh from it's very different from the regular city skylines on on the pc so uh and i'm pretty sure everybody who plays the pc version is aware of what we have here so what i'm gonna do here is start off our very first city and this is going to be called fusion city youtube we're going to turn on unlimited money and then we're going to start off from the very beginning uh no milestones have been unlocked uh left hand traffic is not unlocked Cause we who needs that anyway <laughs> anyway um let's get this started originally uh, i do want to tell you guys that i planned on having a pc playthrough of city skylines however with technical difficulties the game was running great but when i recorded it with pc obs or whatever i was using the issue was that obs would continue to freeze and stop my whole gameplay and just kill my whole mood for actually playing the game so yeah so it's just ironic that i found out that xbox was dropping the version of the city skylines earlier in the week i found out and i was thinking like i can probably just do it on here and be just as good so what's very different about this game is that uh just looking at the game overall was very different is the aspect that it has is the aspect that it has the controller versus a keyboard and mouse it's, it's just totally it's just totally different totally different ball game and you guys I, if you never played this game on PC or you just haven't played this game at all you guys don't understand but uh, I'm pretty sure people who played this game before who are uh, who played this game on PC and uh, got it on the Xbox I'm pretty sure that they kind of they, they should they already know uh, basically they already know like okay this game is, is something is totally different it's very it's very weird it's very weird just just coming off of a coming off of a game like it's just very weird like like this game is just it's a great game overall but for it to be um for it to be on the council is I don't I don't know if I don't know it, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be very weird I don't know if people will really like it i don't know if people will really enjoy the game or not because honestly it could probably it's it's it has a huge uh possibility of flopping because when you bring a game from xbox when you bring a game from xbox i mean if you bring a game for playstation i mean excuse me when you bring a game for x for uh fuck you can bring a game from pc to the console version it has a lot of it should have a, a lot of expectancy and lately honestly we haven't been having that we haven't been having a lot of uh and lately honestly we haven't been having a lot of games that have been great um from that come from the pc and has been great on the console version as well. I can't really. I'm not the. I'm not the. 
smartest gamer in the world, so I can't really name a lot of those good games that had that expectivity expect had that expectation. So I don't know who who I don't know a lot of games that actually lived up to that potential. But um but yeah. And it's just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant game. It's a brilliant, awesome game to play. And uh I just think like it's a it's just awesome that it's actually here on console. Because I was really hyped up, feeling it to do this walkthrough. We'll play through on the count on the PC, but unfortunately, because of whatever reason and whatever reason, uh, whatever reason and my reasons, I couldn't get that done. So, so we had to, so I had to figure out a better way to do it. I had to figure out what to do, and it's just perfect that this game is on the Xbox One and it's perfect that I actually that I got an Xbox One when I got one. So so yeah uh another concern that I'm gonna have with this game honestly is the mods. What made the PC game great besides the game being great overall was not only the add-ons but for mods to build the custom restaurants like once i i had a custom panda express like literally and it was just like like wow like it was just like wow like something you never heard of panda express just like and it's like randomly because it, it came into the game in a weird way i will say Because when you build the uh, commercial zones, a bunch of different businesses and things popped up. And the Panda Express actually came into the industrial zone randomly. Because when I downloaded it, I guess I had totally forgot to download it. And it was like, oh, I get it. It was like, oh, I get it. You know, it must have just popped up randomly. So that's one thing about the game that that just worries me a little bit is will I get bored fast because of the mods is not there that's, that's what I that's what I worry about what I what did what I get bored fast because just because of the mods overall um, now needless to say I didn't bury at all I didn't get I mean, that's to say, like, when I first played the game, I didn't get the mods, but the expectancy of the the replay factor and keep playing it to keep playing these game what, uh, what kept driving me back is not only the need to, to build a city, because this is a great chill game to play. Not only the need to build a city, but just to have just to have the mods there just to have just to know that okay I can do this I can do this with this with this mod and just to have fun with that was a great idea so so that's the that's a couple of my concerns with this game but uh for Fusion City so far we're gonna build the roads here and and then for the zones So yeah, we gotta get the zones here. What the zones here does is a lot of people know where to move in. For people who don't know where to move in yet, you know. Um, and so that's what the zone is here. Here is. To get people to move in. So I got rid of that one so I can put a low density commercial zone in there because people will need that. People will be wanting that eventually. So let's put one there. 
just like that. And then before we continue anything else, uh, the big problem, big, big problem is water. As well, we need to get the water in here. Uh, the pumping station. Let's get the pumping. Show over here, and then for the dumping. Let's put that over here. So with the connect the pipes. They're gonna all be all be connected like so. And honestly, I always feel like it doesn't matter where you put your. Uh, I always feel like it doesn't matter where you put your water pipes. Because you won't be able to see them. But right now, uh, I think that it's a pretty good idea to just put them under the road. So when I play the PC version, um, I literally, like, I literally did not care where the water pipes went. It was very sloppy. It was just all over the place where the water pipes. So I literally did not care where we went, but I guess it's a pretty good idea to just put them under the road. And whenever you see the section that's not glued off or whatever, that means that part would not get water. So what we have to do is put that section there. And then uh, another crucial part is energy. It's good to add a windmill here. And we'll be able to get the energy for the water going. Uh, so everything could work out pretty well. Pretty well and efficiently. All right, so. The next big thing here is put that power plant there, the uh, power plant there, and then make that whole section over there a industrial zone. That's how you move it. That's a whole lot better. And then, uh, let's just play now. And then for now, what we want to do, what I want to do is add a just for now. Just for now, I want to I want to have just for now. Just add the power line there, uh, and what that's going to do is feed in energy from the coal power plant and uh, feed off the energy from the coal power plant and transport it to the city over here. And every very crucial part of the game. So it looks like it's 
So it looks like we still have we still have an issue with the power. Oh, there we go. The power works. The power is doing just good. So it looks like I don't have enough. I don't. I don't want to say that, but. I don't have enough living structure here. I feel like there should be more. There should be more places for people to go. And then over here, what we want to do is we have that. Should be more places for people to go, people, people to live in. Because with the, if the green bar is high, that means this is more of a demand for a residential zone. We are almost at 100 people going to our city, so this is awesome. So we're a fast-growing city. Fusion City is doing awesome. So please leave a like, please comment, and subscribe because we keep going. Uh, got more videos to come with this, so please, please, please leave a like, please comment, and subscribe. For more if you got any tips or anything just let me know all right so yeah we are at 97 uh strong and it looks like looks like i probably have to build more roads to have people uh living in it or or i could probably Go over here and put a uh, put a residential zone over here as well. But I wanna wanna build one more. I wanna expand the city out more over here though. So we we're probably what we could probably do yeah, is have more in, in uh have more right by the industrial zone. So we're gonna have to probably probably a great idea is to build off of here, which is which is a which is uh which will probably be a which is which actually will be just another zone for people to live in. There's a little more diverse here. Uh, do I want to make the line straight? Do I want to do that? Does that look okay? I think that looks alright. To have a couple of those zones there. I think that looks pretty cool. So whenever whenever it is a need for a uh for the for the zone where people could live in the um the lower the low residential zone whenever whenever it's a need for that that's gonna expand it over here and it looks like looks like they want it. They want more if they want a little more industrial, a little more industrial zones. So instead of doing that, we can just put one over here. A small little, because it's not that high, so you just put a little small little spot there for it. One thing that's weird uh, is, and I noticed this. And I was playing earlier. 
I, I noticed that there is no like cars or anything. There's 230 people in here, but there's no cars or anything like that. So <laughs> I guess eventually they, they, they load in, but that's just really weird just to have no cars coming into the city like maybe they it will grow uh, once yeah so maybe it will grow once we uh, get more once we get more cars once we get more people in the city but overall there's no cars in the city all right so what we're gonna do here is now uh, something that we should probably do very efficient is get these water pipes in this area and expand on that there like that so now that whole spot has is water uh, this spot has water and I could be, be able to I should be able to build straight up uh, and then for the coal oh there's the trucks there's the cars the car is starting to flow into the city now I guess yeah all right let's go it looks looks dope all right so now for the coal coal plant here I figured I figured that I figured that it should take over this I figured that it should, it should be able to control this whole part of the city over here it should have power just straight up off that off that coal plant there and then over here, I, sh I probably would put another one or something, or a window or something, just to, just to keep that there. Now let's take a look at the energy though. So now that I don't think we need that anymore, I think that uh, I guess it doesn't look too bad. So if we do need that. I can add it back. But uh, since since we have a lot of buildings in this area, right by the uh, right by the energy plant, we should be pretty much okay uh, with that uh, so far. We should be okay. What they do want, they want more industrial. They only they want more houses to, to move into. So uh, let's try to let's build a road right here. I think this is perfect to to build a road right here, just to help people get into that side of the city. Make things a whole lot easier for the, for the people to, to move in there. Then this side here is another living structure. And then just in case, but eventually I think we will need it. Let's put uh, let's put that residential area over there as well.
So as we go in, uh, beautiful city of Fusion City. As you go in, we are 313 strong. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, 313 strong. And it looks like we won't be stopped here. Uh, it looks like we're still growing. Um, uh, let me see. These controls are like very, very. All right, so for the for the mouse strong, mouse strong. 316. Uh, and to get little Hamlet will be 420. So uh, hopefully, well. I noticed for sure that in the next part we will become a little hamlet. Let's end this part here. Um, yeah, so this is Fusion City. We will end this part here. Pick up at part two. So guys, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe because there will be more. And uh, we thank you guys. Um, we thank you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. And once again. Thank you, the viewers, for watching this video.